Hello beautiful souls. My name is Zoe and I am the singing farmer at Earth Song Farm. And I'm out in my garden today enjoying this beautiful July sunshine and the warmth that we're having today. And I am celebrating the first of some blueberries that are coming up. And, uh, and also I can see some loganberries that are coming and ripening up on the bush here behind me. I'm competing with Mr. Blackbird who lives, this Blackbird lives in a, in a prickly bush just up above me and I quite often come and find that some of the loganberries have been nibbled by Mr. Blackbird. So this week I have been looking at the value that I am bringing to others and how to create my online business and how to bring all the things I'm interested in together. So one of my projects is a, an online coaching business called Grow Your Life Song. And the purpose of that is to help others to focus on what they're wanting to bring into their lives and create the magic of making their, their life come true, their dream life come true and grow their life song. So part of that has been how do I support other people so, how, so that they can see the value of the time spent with me and I've been looking at my message and how I come across to people and working on skills for myself to grow mastery in this and the best way to support others. So in terms of value I've been looking right back at how value and energy and interaction and connection all work together and I've been looking at the patterns of how when we see the value in something for ourselves we take an interest and our energy and our attention goes there so imagine you're having a conversation with somebody and they're sharing their excitement and interest in something the value in that is you're getting to hear their amazing story and it's interesting and exciting and you would be hearing things that you hadn't heard about before so there's value in that for you but then also when you then share your comments or um, reflections on what they've shared they're getting the value back from you so all these interactions that we have with people are a value exchange and energy exchange and I'm really working on grasping how that works in everything that I get to work in, whether it's interactions with my family, whether it's interactions on a business term, whether it's interactions with myself even. So yesterday my phone cut out at a crucial moment in what I was sharing, so I get to come out this morning and record that little bit again at Yes, sometimes we are having these value interactions with ourselves and it might be that part of us is seeing that there's more value in something negative than um, the positive choice that we get to take. And this is quite a, a, a deep concept that I'm investigating and going further and it's, it's to do with limiting beliefs and it's to do with the choices that we make that when we're driven by our um, subconscious, our unconscious mind. Um, so that's a story for another day, but it's all related to value because if we didn't see, there wasn't some part of us that saw the value in it for us, then we wouldn't choose it. And um, we're really, we're, we're attracted to the places where there is a perceived value. So going on from that, um, with the concept of value exchange, I've been looking at um, various aspects of my business where um, this concept of value will support the work that I'm bringing. So this week I am also connecting with friends and friends of friends and in the groups that I'm involved in to share that I'm now available for this one-to-one -one coaching that I'm doing and sharing what I've got to offer and seeing if they are interested in um, taking me up on this offer of my time and working with them to grow their life song. So I really want to bring value to you and 
one of the things that happened yesterday thank you that's mr hoodoo um one of the things that happened yesterday was that um some of the projects i was working on went horribly wrong and there was lots of anguish in our house yesterday as well and um and i realized that i didn't have time to record all the things i wanted to record to put into this week's video and I thought, well, if nothing else, I can at least work on a song. So this is this is a little song doodle that's come up this morning while letting the chickens out. And um, it's just the sentiment of, of the last 24 hours, really. So, so this is my song. It always seems better in the morning. It always feels brighter in the sun Whatever the trouble that's bothering you After a night with your pillow A little courage you'll find a way A little courage to break the day so you do. So I hope you enjoyed that. And you might have noticed that um, some locumbries might have ripened up overnight <laughs> behind me um, because I've been recording on two different days. I hope you've enjoyed this week's short message and I look forward to creating something of value for you next week and hopefully putting a bit more gardening into it as the weather looks to be beautiful this week. All right, my lovelies, have a wonderful week and whatever is troubling you, if you sleep on it, you'll find the courage the next day. So I thought, well, even if I'm not showing you progress with the gardening, the farming on the land, I can show you the fact that we have some sunbathing chickens who are enjoying the dust in their pen lovely little sunbaby dust bath and so I'll go and get some footage of that for you if nothing else. It always seems better in the morning It always feels brighter in the sun Whatever the trouble that's bothering you After a night in your chicken coop A little courage you'll find a way a little courage to break the day and you do it always seems better in the morning it always feels brighter in the sun, whatever the trouble that's bothering you, after a night with your pillow, a little courage has come your way, a little courage to brave it today.